Doesn't Chicago look so creepy right now? Ooh. So much rain. Hi. Hi. What's up? So, hilarious story. A few vlogs ago, we talked about how we were selling everything on Craigslist. And since then, we have had three items. Mm -hmm. Three items have all gone to the same exact person. Sarah has made a new best, <laughs> new best friend since then. She's, what, moved from Brooklyn, lives three blocks away from us, and apparently wants to buy our entire apartment. Which I think is just a testament to how cool technology is. Why? Because it just selling something on Craigslist is connected to you to one person that is so similar in style oh, yeah. and aesthetics. It's true. To what we are. It's pretty crazy. All right. Well, since it's pouring rain outside, I figured we could talk about what everybody's talking about the last couple of days. IGTV. And uh, to be honest, after initially getting on the platform or the new platform, however you want to kind of decipher that, uh, it's interesting. Uh, I think that <clears throat> the vertical video on terms makes sense in one way when you are watching those phones or I think Insta Stories it works great for watching something for a minute, two minutes, you know, maybe even up to three or four minutes at a time. But I'm thinking in, in terms of an hour long video, am I going to be sitting with my phone? Where's my phone? But yeah, as I was saying, am I going to be sitting with my phone held like this in front of my face for an hour? Now, obviously there are a lot of people doing this currently with YouTube. It's probably mainly watched on mobile. Um, but obviously in the horizontal way, resting, probably taking up two hands. So maybe that's, maybe that's an argument for the vertical video. After checking it out and watching a little bit, there are definitely some great features and people that are already adopting going early on. Gary Vee, perfect example, of course, he's already put out a specified IGTV video and montage and everything like that, which I think he did a very good job, his team, Props to you guys. Uh, they put a little note of like, it's basically Instagram colors bar, but going across your phone to let you know how far in the video you were. I think that was one thing that was really hard for me when I was watching videos originally and just trying to check out the platform, see what it was like. You're watching it and yes, while it's like TV, it's very hard to navigate. It's kind of clunky and you're not really sure how long the video is or how long you're gonna be going. You can't press back, you can't really see or speed it up really at all um, without messing everything up. What seemed like on the, on the original test of mine. The other thing that I noticed is there were artists and filmmakers, photographers that are incredible at what they do, uh, trying to put some of their YouTube trailers or just small documentary stuff on the IGTV platform natively and it didn't work because obviously it's cropped for vertical. One of those being Alex Stroll, love Alex to death. Hopefully when we move up to Boise, you and I can go on a little weekend trip, do some shooting somewhere in um, West Montana. I would love that. Or you can show me around Whitefish. But when he copied over his trailer from YouTube, which is great and looks amazing on the YouTube platform, there are times where he's talking and you can literally only see his left shoulder. So. This is uh, what I was thinking about when wanting to put up some of my YouTube highlights. This is how I uh, hacked IGTV. I'll show you how I did that um, and basically got the landsca landscape version um, to work for IGTV and kind of beating them at their own system. So you can go back and just like as a filmmaker, be able to watch these wide shots, um, which I think is a little easier for you to get pulled into a story and pulled into an atmosphere and feel like you're really a part of the film. So for anyone that's unfamiliar with the IGTV app, here's what it looks like when you first pull it up and then it'll immediately just jump into a video for you. So there's obviously for you and it's got some tailored things that are for 
<clears throat> people that you typically follow uh, or just things that are popular. You've got following. So anybody that you follow actually on the native Instagram app, you can see there. Um, and then you obviously have popular, which is going to be trending. And then what's actually pretty cool about it is there's the continue watching. So if you start watching a video, um, it can go ahead and pull it up. It remembers where you're at, and then you can actually click into it, and it'll pull it up. So uh, one of the things that I immediately did not like is if I wanted to pause this, I couldn't really find a good way to pause it. You can't press on the screen, you can't pull up, or it'll start switching between stuff. So I feel like the user face is kind of hard there. You have to tap it, and then press pause down here. All right, so hop into whatever editing software you utilize. This can also be done on a phone. So I'm using Premiere Pro on a desktop. Um, you can use Final Cut Pro, you can use Premiere Pro on your phone, it doesn't really matter. Pull up a B-roll sequence or in my case an old vlog that I did of Chicago that you're wanting to add to IGTV. Uh, what you're going to basically do is create a new sequence, make sure it's 1920 by 1080 for pixels, copy over the entire sequence that you've already edited and then paste it in the new blank sequence that you just created. So, boom. Um, and then basically what I do is just make sure that everything copied over smooth, it looks good, and then you will hit export or control M, uh, make sure it's custom, 1920 by 1080p, and you are good. Once you get that silky footage um, moved over onto your phone, whether you're using photos or iPhotos, you basically pull that up, choose edit and then you can select rotate once you save that then it'll be saved in that vertical format that you're going to be wanting for IGTV uh, but still utilize your horizontal or landscape um, viewed footage so then you can just pop back over into IGTV um, see and as you can tell it'll leave right where you left off so here's like a good example of um, the cool feature of continue watching but uh, once you figure out the interface and remember what you're doing again, you can basically swipe up, see your little profile, choose the plus sign there, and then you're going to see options of videos left over. Um, so boom, you can add in your video, and once you rotate it, it's exactly how it's set and how you would want it. So you can utilize your YouTube footage or whatever footage that you've created horizontally in the past um, and utilize that for IGTV. So that's just a quick little hack um, that I found and it seems like a few other people have been using on IGTV to still use your horizontal or landscape videos to really immerse the viewer uh, and utilize your pillar content that you've created on other channels and other mediums uh, onto this new space. So. Let me know if you have any questions on the process or if this was helpful for you in the comments below, um, as well as if you like this style of video. Usually it's just kind of a daily vlog. Um, this time I wanted to bring a little bit of value to you guys and just let you know how much I appreciate um, you taking the time out of your day to watch this. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you tomorrow and uh, look forward to seeing your comments below. Stacey. Morning. Morning.